In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a group email or group contacts inside of your Gmail. Whenever you compose a message and you are entering all the people that you'd like to send the email to, you can enter them one person at a time or the easier way to do it is to have a pre-made group. Whenever I have a pre-made group, I simply type in the name of the group and I can select everybody inside of the group. Here I have a pre-made group called Science. These are all of the students in my science class. Notice it enters them all for me whenever I choose the science group. This allows me to email my science class much, much more efficiently and effectively. To do this, I'm going to go to the top where it says Mail, choose the drop down menu, and select Contacts. You can make as many groups as you would like. As you can see, I have groups for my advisory students, advisory parents, ELA teachers, science teachers, parents of students, and then my science class. To create a group, you're going to choose New Group. Here you can enter the group name. Once you create the group, it'll appear on the left hand side. Notice that there are no contacts inside of the group. Whenever you want to add contacts to the group, you click on the group and you add the contacts from the top. One thing about adding contacts to your group is those contacts have to currently be in your My Contacts. Chances are most of your students are not inside of My Contacts. So there's several options to do this. When you're in My Contacts, it shows everybody that is currently in your email list that you can email by typing in their name. To get all your students in there, you want to go down to Directory. Once you're inside the directory, you can go to the top and you can search for every single student individually. If you did this, when you found the student that you needed, you would select the student and choose add to your group and you could select the group you want them to be in or multiple groups if needed. That takes a lot of time however to search for all the students. So the easier method when you choose directory all these people are people that are staff members or students of the Farmington R7 school district. So what you can do is select all, choose add to my contacts and then you'll notice that you've only added these people with this name. So we've only started with the A's. So once you select them all, choose Add to My Contacts, go to the next page, and you start moving into some B's. But again, select all, Add to My Contacts, go to the next page. This may seem like it's going to take forever, but it only takes about three or four minutes. And before you know it, you'll have somewhere around 35 to 3700 contacts in your My Contacts, including all of the students. So what you can do now is go back to your example group and under the Add, you can just start typing in the names of your students and they will appear. And it's much quicker to have a roster sitting next to you and add the students this way. And you can create all the students for your class, whether it's by hour or just in general by subject. Once you have your group created, if you have a student leave the class or someone leave the group and you no longer need to email them, select next to their name and remove them from your group. One thing you make sure that you do not want to do is select the contact and go to more and choose delete contact. This will delete the contact out of the group and out of your My Contacts and you'll no longer be able to type their name in to send them an email. You'll have to go back to the directory and re-add them. So make sure you remove them by this method. Say you have a new student join your class. It's pretty simple to add that student to your class by typing in their name. If you have not added them to your contacts yet, you'll have to type in their name completely, first name, last name, at student.farmington.k12.mo.us and that will add them. Once your group is created, when you go back to your mail and you're ready to compose a message,
you can type in the name of your group and there is my example group and it will load everybody. The setup takes just a few minutes but it will save you tons of time in the end. One thing that I do suggest is that whenever you email a group contact list you always put your email address in the to box and you do blind carbon copy for the email group. This way every you have a copy of the message sent to your inbox for your records and everybody else does not see who else received the message. That is one suggestion that I do have. That is how you create a group contact or a group email list. If you have any other questions, please be sure and ask.